Now, let's return to the overview and navigate to the Virtual Staging tab. Our Virtual Staging feature allows you to stage images, videos and 3D objects in your tour. With the 3D catalog, you can also choose from a large selection of furniture allowing you to furnish, for example, a complete apartment. The virtual staging with videos, 3D upload or a 3D furniture catalog is only included in the Pro plan. The staging of images is already available with the Basic plan. Let's get started! First, we navigate to the virtual staging editor. To place a new object inside our tour, we start by clicking on the green plus button. Now, our input mask opens up. We select the kind of object we want to place inside our tour, an image, a photo or a 3D object. Let's try it with a photo. Always make sure that you use the correct file type. As usual, you have the option of uploading one file for all languages or one file for each individual language. After uploading, we can set the visibility of our virtual staging object, for example, only inside, meaning only in the tour. Alternatively, you could also configure an object so that it is only visible inside the dollhouse, for example, to see the water of a swimming pool in the dollhouse view. We now place the image inside our tour with Insert. Afterwards, we adjust the position of our image using the colored arrows. To change the width, height or size of the object, we click on scale over here at the bottom or press the V key on our keyboard. If we want to make our images look even more realistic, we can give them a thickness by entering a value at the bottom right under scaling at Z. Under edit, we can also select the background color for the image. Next, let's try uploading a 3D object. We click on the green button again and select 3D Catalog. Now, our furniture catalog opens up. In the drop-down menu, we can choose from the different categories. As soon as we have picked the piece of furniture, we click on Insert again and position it inside our tour. To rotate the piece of furniture in the right direction, we use the rotate button at the bottom center. We now move our object to the desired position as we did before with our picture and adjust the size by using the scale button. You can use the X, C and V keys to quickly access the move, rotate and scaling tool. In the same way, we can also upload our own 3D object, for example, an animated avatar. In this example, I have already uploaded an avatar and positioned it in my tour. Now, let's bring our avatar to life by clicking Edit in the list on the left. Our input mask opens up again. We first select Yes for Object Clickable and then navigate to the Action tab. This allows us to assign an action to our 3D avatar, which will be played back to us when we click on our object inside the tour. As usual, you will find the usual configuration options for language and pop-ups in the various actions. Let's give our avatar a voice by uploading an audio file. Additionally, we can set an action glow in the virtual staging basic settings. This lets you choose whether your virtual staging object will light up when you move the cursor over it. This can help draw the user's attention to the action. When all the settings are complete, we can click on Preview.
Gleich hinterm Eingang haben wir neben dem Kiosk eine kleine Sonderausstellung, die jedes Jahr neu bestückt wird nach dem Wunsch der Gemeinde von Bruneck. To finish off our virtual staging settings, we click on Light Shadow Settings at the top left. As the name suggests, this is where we find the settings options for the light source and the shadow. We start by setting the height of the light source in the dollhouse view and then return to the tour to adjust the intensity of the light and the shadow. A little tip, if you don't need shadows, then you can deactivate them, as this will significantly improve the loading speed of your tour. Once we have positioned all of our virtual staging objects and completed the light settings, we can leave the editor. If you have a 3D model of your building, you can use virtual staging to place it on top of your dollhouse. This will give your tour an even more realistic feel and also show the outside areas in the dollhouse. Don't forget to set the 3D model to Not Clickable. This will allow users to click into the Matterport tour after it is started. When we are done staging our tour, we can also use filters in the overview to easier find our staged objects. Of course, you can use the quick edit button to easily edit all your objects as usual. By the way, the virtual staging objects are also visible with virtual reality glasses.